You heard me playing over Just the Two of Us, which is one of the all-time great songs. And in this video, we're gonna do a quick lesson on some basic tools you can use to play better solos over this song. Jay Metcalf here from bettersax.com. And as you can see, there's quite a few chords in Just the Two of Us, and they're all seventh chords or Church. chords, but do not be afraid. Throughout this video, I'm going to be referencing a bunch of concepts, which I've already covered in other videos. I put links in the description to some of the videos I suggest you watch to dive a little bit deeper into those other concepts. Many of those include free PDFs that you can download from the Better Sax Shed, which is also linked below. The backing track that I'm playing over comes from bettertracks.com, which is a fantastic resource for great backing tracks for practice and performance. Now we can get through just the two of us playing just the five notes of the minor pentatonic scale. And there's nothing wrong with playing that way. Much of what Grover Washington Jr. plays on the original recording of this tune is just your minor pentatonic scale. playing with a good sound and solid rhythm, you can get a lot of mileage out of just the pentatonic scale. It works, but it's like having a coloring book and only one crayon. Let's add another color, shall we? If we add the flat fifth to the minor pentatonic scale, we get the blues scale, of course. Let's hear an example of that. I feel like we still need some more crayons. So here's another quick win shortcut scale you can use over this tune. Play your F harmonic minor scale. Now this scale can work over the entire chord progression, but you're gonna want to listen carefully to what you're playing. What I mean is, don't just run a scale up and down, but listen and try to find the notes that sound resolved. Be melodic and mindful of everything you're playing. ideal situation is when we know the whole chord progression as well as the scales and arpeggios that would work over each chord. Now this is more advanced and requires a fair amount of guided practice. While you can get away with a few shortcuts on a bunch of tunes, when you really want to be playing with a full box of crayons, you need to put some work and study in. In the Better Sax studio this month, we're working on this very tune, just the two of us, and the members are learning how to improve their rhythm and sound and overall improvisation skills. By the end of the month, our goal is for our students to be able to play the melody from memory and be able to nail the chord changes. Every month there's a new unit, a new tune, new assignments, new backing tracks, new video lessons. So if you'd like to dive in deeper to just the two of us or any of the other tunes we've worked on in the Better Sax Studio, I'm inviting you to try it out for free for seven days. I put a link in the description for you. Now let's hear me playing over this tune using a wider variety of colors.
I hope this helps you play better solos over just the two of us. Now go watch this video next for a more in-depth tutorial on another great Bill Withers tune.